Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today we'll give a special emphasis for reversed universal soil loss equation or Russell model. This video will have a continuous episode to compute an average risk of erosion on arable land to calculate rate of erosion with the help of Russell model. Uh, let's say something about the Russell model. By definition, the Russell model or the revised universal soil loss equation is an empirical erosion model recognized as a standard method to calculate or to compute the average risk of erosion on arable land. So, this revised universal soil loss equation is a byproduct of such uh, covariates or such factors. A stands for, for revised universal soil loss equation and uh, to compute this uh, Russell uh, model, we need to have input data. The first one is R. R stands for uh, rainfall erosivity factor. Mm, the data can be obtained from meteorological station. It can be gauge data or it can be satellite data. So millimeter per hectare per year is considered to compute rainfall erosivity. Within rainfall erosivity, we should consider two uh, major components. The first one is the amount of rainfall that receives a certain area and the intensity of rainfall or uh, duration and intensity should be considered. The second one is soil erodibility. Soil erodibility can be computed by considering the major characteristics of soil or soil type, the texture, uh, coarse fragment and other parameters. The third uh, major component to compute the revised universal soil loss equation is C. C means cover management. The land use land cover have its own significant contribution for erosion. The area which have uh, forced cover and the area which uh, is characterized by bare have not equal uh, rate of erosion. So uh, land use land cover or cover management have its own uh, contribution. Final one is P. P is management, the conservation practice that applied on a given geographic area. Different uh, conservation structures have been constructed in a certain area to elevate or to reduce rate of erosion. So all these factors have significant contribution to compute revised uh, universal soil loss equation or average risk of erosion. As far as the flowchart is concerned, this is Russell model to compute Russell model. The input data is listed here. The first one is soil data. Soil data is helpful to compute or to generate K factor. So the soil data can be obtained from different data sources. It may be uh, FAO uh, data or you can use is rig soil data. The second one is rainfall. The rainfall can be uh, generated from um, the satellite image or from gauge data. You can um, easily use uh, the meteorological stations or the recorded data at uh, any meteorological station which is found around your area of interest. So uh, long-term rainfall data is uh, crucial to compute Russell model. So from rainfall data, we can generate R factor. The third one is the topographic structure of an area can be computed from digital elevation model. And this uh, digital elevation model is used as an input to uh, generate LS factor, but there is interme intermediate uh, output the intermediate output to generate LS factor are flow accumulation, flow direction and slope and by using a formula uh, we can easily compute LS factor by considering the spatial resolution of the digital elevation model and uh, finally we have we have to have uh, the LS factor map. The other is the land use land cover data. It can be obtained from satellite images, Landsat, um, or Sentinel, or any other preferable satellite image can be used to compute land use land cover map by using different softwares. It can be ArcGIS, CRDAS, CMV, or uh, any other geospatial technology. Uh, so uh, by using supervised classification we can compute land use land cover 
finally from land use land cover we can generate p factor and c factor finally we make an overlay analysis k r l s p and c factor by giving dif different weight based on their contribution for soil uh, loss finally we will have the soil loss map or by considering area ton per hectare per year and this is all for today if you have any question let me know have a good day